Okay, so what we've got are the two points A and B then at 2, 5 and minus 2, 7. And we've got to find the distance AB in the form k root 5. So to do this, what we could do is draw a sketch of where those points are. So if we were to do this, all right, let's just mark our axes on. 2, 5, where would that be? Let's say 2 across, 5 up. Let's pretend that it's there, say. That's the point A with coordinates 2, 5. B is the point minus 2, 7. So we can say that that's the point B at minus 2, 7. And we're out to find this distance across here. And to do that, you could use Pythagoras' theorem by thinking of a right angle triangle across here. This is the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. So that length squared plus that length squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So if we were to do that, we would have that the distance AB all squared is equal to this distance squared that's the difference between the x coordinates. We've got 2 here, minus, minus 2. So that distance is going to be 4. So let's just write that as 2 minus, minus 2 all squared. You'll see why in a minute, OK, that I've done that. This distance, the difference between the y coordinates, so that's going to be 7 minus 5. So we can have that as plus 7 minus 5 all squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem then. Sum of the squares of the two shorter sides equals the hypotenuse squared. If we work this out, 2 minus minus 2 then, that's going to be 4. 4 squared is 16. 7 take away 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we've got 20. So therefore, AB is going to be equal to the square root of 20. And what is the square root of 20? Well, we're given a clue here that we've got to express this in the form k root 5. So that means we can split this up as being 4 times 5. 4 fives are 20. So this can be regarded as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 4 we know is 2. And we've got 2 root 5. So that's in the form k root 5. Now, you might have done this question without a sketch. You didn't actually need a sketch to do this because you could and should really know how to find the distance between two points without a sketch. And I'll just quickly remind you of that, that if you wanted to find the distance, say, between A and B, what we can do is use the formula, which is based on Pythagoras' theorem, where you have two coordinates, x1, y1, and x2, y2. And what you have is the difference between the x coordinates squared plus the difference between the y coordinates squared. Okay, And then you would square root that answer. And that's essentially what we've done throughout this problem. So if you were doing this question, you could, as I say, have used this formula directly. And if you did, it doesn't matter which one you use as your x1 coordinates. On purpose, what I'll do is I'll just use this minus 2 as my x1, and then that'll be the y1, and this will be my x2, y2. And you'll see it will still work. Look, minus 2, let's just put the square root in first though. Okay, we'll go minus 2. And then we'll subtract this one here, 2, all squared, plus, and then we've got y1, so that's 7, minus y2, which is 5, all squared. And you'll see we get exactly the same result, because minus 2 to take away 2 is going to be minus 4, but because we're squaring it, it's going to come out at the 16 again. All right? So this is going to be square root of 16 plus, and we've got 7 take away 5, is 2, 2 squared, 4. 
Even if we had written 5 take away 7, which would be minus 2, because we're squaring it, it would have still been 4. And so, as before, we can see that that is exactly the same as the square root of 20, which became 2 root 5. So, I must admit, if I had been doing this question, I would have gone straight for the formula version rather than drawing the sketch. But I've just done the sketch here just to show you or remind you how the concept works, OK, through Pythagoras' theorem. OK, so that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.